What's up, guys? This is your daily energy reading. And today's energy is one of manifestation. And it's given us the keys and the tools to manifesting when we're going through tough, ch challenging times. The other overall energy of the reading we have, bask in joy and light. I don't know why these two want to come together. Um, bask in joy and light. And move beyond ancestral patterns. Was right under there. Um, that's not to say anything negative about ancestral patterns, but it's about you know generational curses and things of that sort. Moving beyond and breaking generational curses using the power of manifestation to do so. Then we have the magician and the emperor creating a solid foundation in our life by using our hands, hard work, and determination, and the power of manifestation to create and to align our life with a life that we desire and to manifest the desires of our heart. So the first thing we have is protection guardian, drop your shields. And we have the ace of cups coupled with that. So together, this is saying, release the need to harbor fear, Release the need to protect yourself against fear, against limitations, against anything negative. Sometimes we don't pursue something because we have all these negative thoughts, of lack of fulfillment or fear that it won't work out for us. But Spirit is saying, instead of focusing on fear, instead of focusing on the negative, focus on the positive. Focus on things that fulfill you. Focus on inspiration. Focus on happiness and love instead of fear, instead of bondage, instead of negativity, focus on the positive, release that, know that you are protected. So release that need to set, protect yourself against failure, protect yourself against the things that you fear, release that, allow spirit to protect you and focus on the positive. Then we have, I love this card, she's so beautiful, magic guardian, unlock the magic within, clarified by the death card. Together, this is a transformation. This is transforming and creating new beginnings in your life through your own individual power of manifestation. Spirit is saying the power is not outside of you. The power is inside of you. You have the power to change your life. You have the power to transform your life. It's all within you. Nothing is not outside of you. Everything you need to transform your life, you have it within you. You have the resources. You have the ability to manifest new beginnings in your life. You just need to use them. Release the negative, focus on the positive, and focus on the things that you have within yourself to manifest your life. You could, it could be gifts. It can be, you know, whatever it is. You have the power within you to change your situation. Then we have Mirror Garden. Guardian, take the time to reflect. Couple with the Seven of Swords. The Mirror Guardian is, take a look at yourself in a mirror. The Seven of Swords is saying, you could be stabbing your own self in the back. So what are the things that you're doing to stab yourself in the back? Take a look in the mirror. Are you releasing negative spells against yourself? Are you not focusing on your, in your highest potential? Are you afraid? Are you allowing fear to stagnate you? When you look in the mirror, you figure out what it is that you're doing to stop yourself. What it is you're doing to be the opposition in your own life. The Seven of Swords is the opposition in this reading. So what are you doing to, are you the opposition in your own life? Are you doing things to keep hold your own self back? Spirit is saying, look in the mirror. Assess yourself. What can you do better? How can you focus more on the positive? How can you be more in joy and light? How can you focus on manifesting new beginnings in your life and, and being using your power within to manifest transformation? What are you doing to hold yourself back? Then we have Snake, coupled with the Nine of Swords, Shadow of Skin. In this reading, this is saying, release fear. Release anxiety. Let all that negative shit go. And you know what? I'm talking to myself right now, too, because I do it, too. You know, I'm not preaching to you. I'm just releasing this reading. This is saying release the anxiety, release negativity, release negative thoughts. Again, focus on the positive. Release the negative. Don't be the opposition in your own life. Don't allow the snake, don't allow snake energy or opposition energy or demonic energy to hold you back. Release anxiety and fear, knowing that. You have the power within to manifest your life and focus on that. Focus on joy and manifestation. Focus on the things that you would like to create. Honor your inner knowing, medicine mother. Take care of yourself. You have the keys to transform your life. What keys do you have? Mother, honor your inner knowing, medicine mother is about 
okay, this is what I can do to take care of myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm going through challenging times, but this is what I can do to change it. This is using your voice or your mind, your body and spirit to change your situation or to assess your inner set your situation and get out of it the best way you can. This is about taking care of yourself, being the medicine for yourself, for your soul, for your situation. Knowing what it is you need to do and do it and taking action and actually doing it. Whether it's you're failing on your current needs, you take inventory of what it is that you're failing at and you figure out how you can do better. If you aren't working on your future, you, you take inventory of what you desire, what you would like to create and you start working on your future. This is how you get out of bondage. Otherwise, you're stuck. This is being stuck. But you don't have to be stuck because the bindings are loose. You just have to take action. She just has to take action to take the blindfolds off and to release herself from bondage by doing what it is that she already knows she needs to do. It could be different for me and you. If my situation, if I'm failing in my current needs, I need to take inventory of my current needs and figure out how to get myself out of that situation. Again, I have the power within to manifest anything I want. So I have the power to get out of this situation and so do you. So whatever it is that you feel like you're lacking at, take inventory of what it is. And take action to change it because you have the power to do so. Spirit is empowering us today to get back into joy and light, to, to move beyond the negative, to break generational cult, um, curses, and to get to us to a place of happiness, to get us back to summer, to get us back in alignment with a hot girl summer. <laughs> but no, to get ourselves back into alignment with joy and light and being a joy and light for others, but first and foremost, being that same joy and light for ourselves, if not more. This was your daily energy reading brought to you by my book, The Power of I Am. Search Ashley Gillard in Amazon and it will take you to my products. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace.